All right, guys, we're back again. Got a 12 Pro Max on iOS 18.0. You guys wanted to see XCAP Connect compatibility. So this is our 12 Pro Max 18.0. <clears throat> no parts history. Pop over to the battery section. Notice our health is at 82%, needs to be replaced. Our original battery. Let's shut it down, but wait, let's go ahead and plug it into JCID Repair Assistant and check battery health data there. Do make sure you go ahead and download the repair system 1.2.02.02 or later. You can see that our original battery data is displayed here. So back to shutting this device down. We'll go ahead and get it powered off and get our original battery pulled and we'll get our XCAP Connect here prepped for installation. So we'll disconnect and pull our original battery. A little bit of editing magic. We'll get this XCAP Connect ready to pop right back in. Begin that installation process by just connecting the FPC directly to the logic board with the original BMS installed. If you have trouble or need any information on that, refer to our previous videos on XCAP Connect installation procedures. With that installed, we'll go ahead and plug in our lightning cable here and boot this device up. Give it a couple of seconds to boot up. We'll navigate into the settings and you'll notice that we do have a unknown parts message here. We'll go ahead and shut this device down and go ahead and reboot it one time. Give that another second here to reboot. And we'll notice into the settings, we don't have any unknown parts messages popping over to JCID repair assistant. And we notice that we are getting new battery data on our repair assistant software. We are on 18.0 and we do see that we're still showing old data on the device. So with the old data still being displayed on the device, we'll pop over to JCID Repair Assistant, we'll initiate ba Repair Battery Health System, and we will select the proper firmware of the device. Same information as before iOS 17.4 and newer, you will lose data. This is a restore process. Once you see the information about the device waiting for restore recovery mode, you'll go ahead and disconnect this device. This is the important step during this new procedure. You'll disconnect the battery and reconnect it. That's all you have to do. Go ahead and power the device back on and plug it right back in. The process will finish and finalize just like before. We'll go ahead and activate this. Skipping all of that long procedure for flashing, but once it is complete, We'll go ahead and let the device boot into iOS. Notice we're still on 18.0. We don't have any battery message, but once we navigate back into the battery section here, we see that we have 100% displayed on the device. Again, that's compatibility with iOS 18, XCAP Connect. Thank you again.